the NHS confirmed that a reading of 140 90 of a millimeter of mercury is considered high blood pressure, which puts your life at risk. Consumption of one cheap fruit could help improve your health. Published in the European Journal of Nutrition, researchers assessed the sustained and acute effects of fruit consumption. In particular, 159 participants either received a placebo or a fruit drink that naturally contains hesperidin. Those who consumed 500 milliliters slash day of orange juice experienced a decrease in systolic blood pressure. Blood pressure readings are separated into two parts systolic blood pressure, the top reading diastolic blood pressure, the bottom reading. To illustrate, a blood pressure reading of 140 90 of a millimeter of mercury represents 140 millimeters of mercury, systolic, and 90 millimeters of mercury, diastolic blood pressure. The study extended for 12 weeks, with short-term and long-term benefits of drinking orange juice documented. Systolic blood pressure reduction was dose-dependent on the hesperidin content. The control drink, on the other hand, didn't lead to a reduction in systolic or diastolic blood pressure readings. After 12 weeks of orange juice consumption, four genes related to hypertension were expressed differently. These were PTX3, NLRP3, NPSR1 and NAMP that express differently in peripheral blood mononuclear cells. The researchers concluded that hesperidin in orange juice reduces systolic blood pressure after sustained consumption, and even after a single dose. The chronic consumption of orange juice was shown to enhance its postprandial effect. Thus the researchers theorized that orange juice consumption could be ideal to help manage the blood pressure of people who have prehypertension. Prehypertension WebMD explained that prehypertension, otherwise known as stage 1 hypertension, means the systolic blood pressure reading is between 120 mm of mercury to 139 mm of mercury. Alternatively, the diastolic blood pressure reading is 80 mm of mercury to 89 mm of mercury. People should be aware that prehypertension is a warning that you're at greater risk of high blood pressure. Not only that, prehypertension could also mean the person affected has a higher risk of cardiovascular disease high cholesterol obesity diabetes. Lifestyle adjustments are key at this stage to prevent high blood pressure. This includes losing weight if you are currently overweight. Another important step is to exercise regularly, and to eat a healthy diet full of fruits vegetables whole grains fish low fat dairy. It's also helpful to cut back on dietary salt, saturated and trans fats. Furthermore, a vegetarian or plant-based diet could be helpful, as could only drinking alcohol in moderation, 